Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. So in this video, we will talk about installing Flutter. Before, after you've cloned the project, before you can use the project or do anything on it, you will need to install Flutter into your um, system and set it to path. So let's get right into it. So what you just need to do is um, go to, you could just type on Google Flutter SDK download, then you get the Flutter documentation and go for Mac OS. Remember, we we're using Mac OS, I think I mentioned this. And the reason we are using Mac OS in order to add to that again is um, to let us understand that um, we are using Mac OS because um, Mac system is the only system you can use to set up iOS configurations. So that being said you can pick your own chip i'm using a, uh, i am using an apple silicon chip so this is the one i would download so once i have it downloaded let's wait for that so i have it somewhere i've already downloaded it somewhere i think it's here it's on my apps so you see water is here already so i can um, leave it that way so once you have it downloaded you save and um, it downloads so once the download is done you go to the download destination where you've downloaded it where you've downloaded it you go to the destination where you've downloaded it um, in my own case is downloads apps and this is it so you will see a zip file where you unzip it and once you've unzipped it this is what you will get so in this place, you go to your bin folder and in your bin folder, you right click on your bin folder and press your option key. You copy bin as a path name. So once you do that, you have to come back here. Um, where is it again? Yes, you have to come back here. So this is what you will do. You have to put in your work your work directory where you actually um, downloaded the, the the Flutter file. You have to put it here. So basically, this is what you would have. Let me um, launch a text edit. Um, this is what you would have. A new text edit. Let me just open a new one. A new document. As an example so if you have this here the install flutter when you copy this right this is what I, 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 I would do to make it easy for me so I paste this here and um, once this is pasted oh pardon me let me paste in, in. let me change the font color because um so the font color remains white yes and um the background color would be um black so here yeah. but um we can also come remember that we have a, a file to change so what we just need to do is this we just need to come into where our bin folder is right click on it press option key copy bin as path name and once you've done that you replace everything here and paste so with this done you can export this so how do you export we go into let me cut this out you go into your vs code your terminal sorry and either you do a vi a vim it's either you do a vim dot zshrc or you do a nano dot zshrc or you do an open zshrc um so 
I chose to use this so I open this then I'll have it pasted but it is already pasted for me I will show you where it is this is it so it's already pasted for me so I don't need to paste it so you paste that in and that way you already set the flutter tools to your path so which means you would have access to flutter flutter um, um, dependencies now how exactly do you know if it is a ZSH, ZSHRC you would need or it's a bash profile I like to mention this a lot so you might see you might I might mention it in other videos but let me just mention it again in order to know you can just do echo echo shell now if it returns this it means your terminal is engine is um is functioning with um a zsh if it returns a bash instead of a zsh zsh that means you're using a bash so what you would be editing would probably be a bash profile something like this vim bash profile depending on the type of mark that you have so this is what you'll be um, changing instead so with this we already have um what's it called installed we already have a uh, uh, we already have um, the flutter app already set up so with that we have come to the end of this video please do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye